Okay, let's start. Hello, everybody. I am Indra Sussan from Epcot. Welcome to Keep This by Click Meeting. Uh, today, our meeting agenda is uh, what's new on QT 3.9. Uh, we, will, we will discuss about uh, what new uh, what uh, new we have introduced and uh, what else I have duplicated. Uh, then we will uh, listen to your question if you any of you have any. Uh, let me know if you face any problem hearing my speech. Okay. I have made a slide. Uh, let's present it. Okay. CubeDB 0.9 RC0 already released. Uh, this will be in the final release uh, yeah, with some bug fix. Uh, actually, this uh, release uh, mainly, we can call it a user centric release. Uh, we have put uh, full focus to improve user experience, uh, customizability and configuration, uh, configurability. We try to put uh, give as much control as possible to the user, but still uh, user will be able to take full advantage of KubeDB automation. Okay, let's see what new. Uh, we have introduced a new database version CRD. Uh, this database version CRD uh, for example, here is a Postgres version CRD. This database version CRD specifies the Docker image will be used for uh, this. Uh, I think I have on share my screen, right? Yeah, can you see my screen now? Anybody? Guys, do you hear, uh, see my skin? Hello? Uh, anybody see my skin? Can you see my skin? I have shared my skin. I can see a Postgres version CRD, but... Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Uh, we have introduced a database version CRD in 0.9. Uh, uh, here is a sample for a Postgres version CRD. This Postgres version CRD specifies the Docker images will be used for this database. Here, db.image specifies the Postgres Docker image that will be used to create the database. Exporter.image specifies uh, the exporter image that will be used for export Prometheus matrix. And this tools image specify uh, which image will be used for taking backup and register. What's in the Postgres tools? Postgres tools will be used to take backup. For example, it will run a backup job and run pg dump command. And when we register, it will uh, register from the script or snapshot. We will use this image. Okay. Uh, whenever you will install uh, KubeDB, uh, uh, database version share default or supported database will be created here. We can see Postgres version uh, uh, CRD for all supported version. This is for Postgres 10.2, this is for 9.6, and on. Now, when you create a Postgres database, by any database, uh, 
uh, instead of specifying the database version, you now have to specify the post, uh, name of the Postgres version. So QDB will automatically know who is uh, who is the database image, who is export image, who is tools image to use for this Postgres version. So why we introduce this uh, database version CID? Uh, we wanted to uh, make QDB configurable and give independence to uh, uh, power to users so they can use custom uh, Docker image among so that we can uh, modify the Docker image if necessary without uh, needing modifying the operator code. Uh, here is an example. Uh, one user running time scale database using KubeDB. Uh, he is using Postgres, but uh, in the version field, he is referring to the time scale uh, database Postgres version CID. So here, KubeDB uh, uh, will use this image, Postgres time scale 0.9 to create time scale database. This is a great example how uh, this database version CID can help. Another thing we have introduced pod template. Now you can specify uh, the template for uh, pod that will be created by KubeDB for your database. Uh, here you can see that pod template, you can specify annotation. Uh, this controller annotation will be uh, pass to the uh, backup or restore job and in the speak field you can specify scheduler name node selector image pool secret environment variable and so on affinity anti affinity toleration readiness group etc uh, we have also introduced a service template uh, in database CRD, you take the uh, service template, you can specify the service annotation, service type, and service port. So if you need to create a uh, notebook type service, just you have to uh, provide service template and specify the type notebook. So you no longer need to uh, attach or expose the original service. You will automatically create expected service for you. Then we have introduced a termination policy. This termination policy actually used for control deletion behavior for uh, a database. For example, uh, we have uh, four termination policy, do not terminate, pause, delete, and wipe out. If you specify termination policy, do not terminate, when you try to delete the Postgres CID by database CID, KubeDB will reject this request because you specify that not to terminate this database. So it will nullify the request. If you specify pause, termination policy pause, uh, it will delete database uh, CID, but it will create a dormant database CID, so you can resume the database later. Uh, but it will uh, delete the stateful set and service, but keep the PVC secret snapshot and other data, respective data. But if you specify wipe out, all your thing, or database, the data, a snapshot, everything will be wiped out. Uh, from user request, we have also specify uh, given option to use if you may restore it. Now, uh, in spec dot uh, storage type, if you specify ephemeral, empty directory will be used. So you will no longer uh, need to specify a uh, PVC uh, uh, storage class PVC, etc. Manage PVC. Uh, this is especially useful when you are trying to uh, test uh, some basic functionality, but uh, you don't want to create a new PVC uh, for that. So you don't need a data probe persistence, just you are testing. So we have introduced this ephemeral storage. Uh, then in 0.9, for all database, you can use a configuration file to configure your database. Here is an example for Postgres. Uh, you have to create a configuration file, for example, user.com fi file. And here is a Postgres, some configuration for Postgres, mass connection, shared buffer. Then you have to put this configuration file in a Kubernetes volume. For our example, we have uh, created a config map with this. Then you have to specify this volume in spec.config source field. 
uh, then QDB will mount this Booleum inside the database pod and the database will be configured from this uh, configuration file. Uh, we have also introduced uh, MongoDB clustering. Currently, only replica set used uh, for MongoDB clustering. We are working on sharding. Uh, and we have a simplified HEM installation process. Uh, for example, now you just need to add AppScript repository, then install operator, and finally you have to install uh, the database version CRDU, which we are calling QDB catalog. Uh, you are no longer required to install one SSL for installing QDB. Uh, that was uh, necessary for previous version you no longer need to provide a API server CA. QDB uh, will automatically pass uh, necessary, will automatically detect the API server CA and use that. And you will no longer need to provide the webhook flags. In previous version, you have to provide a uh, validating webhook for to uh, mutating webhook too, but you do not uh, require this version now. And we have a um, lot more chance, for example, uh, we have fixed AKS issue that was API server was using uh, FQDN. Now uh, AKS will work and QDB uh, now support EKS, EKS2 and Q, uh, Kubernetes 1.10.3. So QDB will work on EKS now. Uh, then we have added a namespace hook. Uh, for example, if you have some uh, resource in an MS space, QDB resource, your database, uh, and it has termination policy, do not terminate or pause. So if you try to delete the MS space, QDB will reject the request. So you, it will not uh, give you uh, permission to delete the uh, MS space. So you do not, uh, you will not uh, your database accidentally. Then we have uh, introduced an option to disable search guard for elastic search. We have also worked on PITR recovery for both years. So point in time recovery will now possible. Now if uh, you want to roll back your previous database version, you can do this. And we have added some doc for elastic search, for example, how to use Kibana and how to use expect monitoring. Okay, uh, now what's deprecated? We have also deprecated some field, for example, inspect the donut pause. Previously, it was used to uh, protect database from accidental deletion. Now you can use termination policy donut terminate, terminate to, for this purpose. So we have removed this inspect the donut pause field. Then we have moved some field into the pod template here spec dot not 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 selector is now on spec dot pod template dot uh, not selector and here some field uh, we have also marked this field deprecated if you use this field uh, QDB will work but uh, uh, QDB mutator will change this uh, move any information from this field to this field uh, okay that's all for Neo. Now, if you, any of you have any question. Um, may I ask a question? Uh, sure. At the first slide, um, uh, second slide, you talked about the usage of uh, the post-previous version here. You are talking about this slide, slide right? Another, no, another one. Uh, yes, uh, what, what is that? Yeah. Time scale is not, uh, it's, uh, it's another kind of uh, post or? Yeah, uh, that's some uh, modification on top of project. Okay. okay, understand. 
you can now uh, install some plugin you uh, or you use custom database uh, custom uh, image from your own repository mm -hmm. using this technique anything more mm. i guess you can talk about if any you feel any lackings of gibdb or you can suggest anything we want to hear from you uh we see graham here graham are you listening uh, do you guys have any question Okay, I think no one has any more question. So, uh, I'll move 20 minutes. Uh, 60 minutes. Okay, I can then talk about oh, what we are doing currently. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for final uh, 0.9 release, so we will fix some bug and improve maybe some documentation. Uh, you can see some milestone 0.9 milestone here. Almost most of the issues are closed. Uh, okay. Uh, currently we are working those issue when we are done with them we will really finally release okay then i guess i can uh, end meeting now thanks thank you very much uh, thank you for coming